but today I'm going to teach you how to connect your PS3 controller to your Mac. So the first thing you want to do is set up the Bluetooth configuration process for your Mac. So go to System Preferences over here. Then you're going to go to Bluetooth. And uh, you just want to go to Advanced over here. Just make sure these boxes have all been ticked so then you can connect your controller. And then we just go uh, check the box next to Show Bluetooth in Menu Bar. And it'll show up over there with the Bluetooth icon. And now we can set up our controller. Take the USB cable and it's already connected to the controller on the other end. So just connect it to the port. And then when you connect it, you'll see four lights flash. And then it'll show up on the screen. And then what you want to do is uh, to actually connect it, you just want to press this button where it says P3. It's non-branded, by the way, so I don't know how it works differently. So hold it for a couple of seconds, and while you're holding it, one, two, three, four, five. Um, sometimes it might work, sometimes it might not, depending on how long it holds on to. But um, if it doesn't say not connect, if it doesn't say connect it after a while, don't worry about it. We can always figure out something. But we'll try it one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Like sometimes this wheel, you know, will like flashing around somewhere, but another way you do it is, you know, press connect over here when you go to Bluetooth and you go to your PS3, um, the name for your device. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it might not. But even if it doesn't say not connected, I'll just show you the next part of it. Um, we'll just minimize that part and then I'll take you over to Open Emu, the, the emulator that, that can play PS1 games and Atari games and just a bunch of other games from like retro, from the retro years, I guess. So now we're going to play Tomb Raider. Before we do that, however, we're just going to go over to Open Emu on the left, the top left. We go to Open Emu, press Preferences. Automatically, it will take you back to It'll take you to the controls for the PS1 control. Um, as you can see, it says input over there. And for the input, it says the keyboard. We don't want that. We want the controller, of course. And so we just go input, click on that box. And it'll have a dash, which I'm not sure even show why, because it's kind of hard to tell whether it has good connectivity or not. But anyways, we're just going to press that PS3 SIG Axis wireless over there. Um, so it already says P1 and so on and so forth. Now, if you haven't done so already, um, you want to configure out the settings by, you know, pressing the button of which which button is going to be to actually. So if you press, so if you want to have this button working, you want to if you want to have the up button work, you just press the up arrow, just like that, and then it's going to basically. Uh, so I pressed that already, and it moves on. So we press that. So so obviously when you press those arrows, I'm um, just going to go left you know, uh, right, so I'll show you if it's better, so just like that, so left analog is up, left analog is left, uh, right analog, it's kind of hard to do this because I'm holding the camera and I'm right-handed, but of course it's like that, and then left anal right analog left, and uh, analog is, it's over here, so in this case it's home, this replaces um, the P3 over here, replaces the analog button from the PS1 controller. So press home, of course, and we go triangle, and then press circle for here, circle, X, square, and then we have L1 right here. So this is L1, so we press that. We've got L2 at the back, and we've got R1, press R1, move on to the next one, and we've got R2, L3, which is basically like that, you just, you just press it on top, just click on it, right? don't, don't do anything else, because um, I don't want to mess this up again, um, so you just press this, when you press this, Nice and careful. Then we got start. Uh, so starts over here. So start, 
and then you press select. And uh, as for the special keys, you don't have to worry about all that. This is for, um, you may find this in another game, but we're not going to really worry about that for the moment. Um, but yeah, you've set up your, you're done setting up the controls for your controller to play games on your Mac. So hopefully this now works. Um, please God, I hope this works. So now we're just going to start up Tomb Raider 3. So hopefully, when we press start, if we can get, if we can skip all the intros, we can't skip this intro, but if we press start to skip the intros, hopefully that means it works. Give it a second. Okay, so we skipped that, which is a good sign. So obviously, um, it should start working. Um, all right. So it's just loading up. I'll just do like a quick demonstration of moving it around in the Solaris home. So you can just move it around like that. I'll just press uh, X, go to Lara's home. So just maybe a couple minutes. You know, this is very useful if you ever want to play, you know, some games on your Mac. Um, so move around. Um, so if you want to just, so you can jump. Um, so pause it. In this case, when you press the select button, you get the entire inventory and you can just move around and so on and so forth. Um, so basically, that is how you connect your PS3 controller to your Mac. However, this is through a wired connection. It's I'm not too sure how to do you know a wireless connection without screwing anything up. But if you like this video, please give this video a like, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you later.